your mobile phone? Well, the FBI is now warning about a new type of scam, one that involves sending your text, use text messages or calling your mobile device. The scam is called smishing. Our Jenna Kotze, I'm alive in San Francisco tonight to explain how smishing works. Jenna? Well, Gassia, it really goes beyond your computer and your emails by going directly to your mobile phone, sending you text messages or installing malicious software that can tap into your personal data, credit cards, or even your banking. Among mobile phone users, even in tech-savvy San Francisco, it's a new word. No. No? no. You don't know what it is? Nope. That's still unfamiliar to many. So I just want to know what you think about smishing. I have no idea what that is. I never knew what smishing was. Technology experts say smishing is a cybercrime where criminals fish for information by sending text messages to your mobile phone. It's becoming more common as more people use mobile devices for shopping and online banking. There are more ways to get to your phone and get data off your phone as the phones become more sophisticated because essentially you're carrying a small computer in your pocket. Leon Rishnu is with Cloudmark, a company that assists mobile companies with security issues. He says that consumers should never reply to a smishing message, even if it looks legitimate. It could be from a premium number that charges a fee, or it could provide a web link to an unsecure site that asks for personal credit card or banking information. So you don't know if that's been a hacked website of a legitimate company. Experts say they've also seen smishing messages that encourage people to download applications or free games with malicious software built in. It would start up like in the normal app. No one would know any difference. Um, three times a day, it would place a premium rate um, text to a premium rate number. Um, it costs you $7 for every text. One of my sons has a cell phone, and unbeknownst to him, uh, he signed up for something, and suddenly we were being charged. Yeah, they're like weird numbers, they're like three-digit numbers or something like that. They come up. I don't want my phone to get corrupted with like a virus or anything like that. I'm not sure like how that works. I never want to do that. Experts say you should delete any suspected smishing messages. And by the way, smishing comes from a combination of phishing and SMS, which stands for short message service. Reporting live in San Francisco, Jana Kasiyama, KTVU, Channel 2 News.